What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all these karmic -y ass clowns. Now, you have a karmic in your life, you have a clown in your life. This may be the right place for you, okay? They're raping your time. They want to rape your time. They want to take, spend your, waste your time. And you tell them, bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. That's what you tell them, divine feminine. Because you walked away from this person and they're still trying to come at you. You're ignoring them. You muted, they, you muted your phone for when they call you. Mm-hmm. You are not allowing this person to kill your vibe. That's right. So spirit, what is the overall energy surrounding the divine feminine in this clown? What is the energy surrounding the divine feminine in this clown? I can't sleep. I can't eat. I miss you like crazy. Yeah, they miss you. Mm-hmm. Because you're not getting used to their toxic ass energy. Mm-hmm. And this their energy is they have the weakness for the same sex. And this person has too much pride to apologize. It's an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Sunshine, joy, and happiness, abundance, and wealth is coming your way. Collective divine feminine feminine. Okay, um, low vibrational drinking, drugs, paying prostitutes, longing for each other. In came in reverse because this person may be longing for you, but you're not longing for them. This person is watching you enjoy yourself. Okay. They say, I can be your king if you let me. I thought that I broke you mentally. It's going to be hard to fuck over you because you've been there, done that. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So you have the key to my heart. I see you having fun in the sun, happiness, joy, sunshine. You're abundant. I see it. And Divine Feminine, this is an ex that you stop wasting your time on. So keep it pushing. Because this person was raping your time, making you feel inviolated. And now they're bitter because you don't need them no more. Mm -hmm. This is a past karmic energy that wants to reconcile with you. Mm-hmm. You told this person, um, you don't give a fuck how they feel. You said when you leave, pick up your feelings. Some of y'all been listening to Jasmine and Sullivan. And now this person is having a tower moment. Okay. Somebody told them they was pregnant to break y'all up. It's an evil ass energy. Okay. And this person is a racist. The person that told them that they was pregnant to break y'all up is a different race. If your person is, is, is dealing with somebody of a different race, that person hates their race. They're racist. They don't like that your person. They don't like them at all. They hate your person. They can't stand your person, okay? They just did that because they don't like you too. And they just want to try to prove something that they can take somebody from you. I guess if they mixed or uh, they're not black or they're not your race, they feel like they're better than you. Um, whatever your race may be, they're racist. All, all colors, shit. And they're in the closet. They're racist in the closet. Mm -hmm. And they're paying a practitioner, watching and waiting for results. But judgment is coming against all who done you dirty. Why this heifer is out here doing some um, spell work on you or paying people to do ma to do magic. Mm-hmm. Just what it just said. Their ex is trying to throw negative energy your way. So this is their this is your person's ex. Mm-hmm. That hates your person. If she's of a different race, she can't stand she hates him and his and her family hates him. They have to go now. And your person, he he thinks that she's so fine. He thinks that, that she's beautiful and this or that because she's a different race. But he don't know that she hates his ass. Mm -hmm. I want to take you out and spend more time with you and you told them when you leave don't forget to pick up your feelings 
Because I've been there and done that. And that gave this person a tower moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. And now they're watching your happiness. Mm -hmm. You telling them, bitch, don't kill my vibe. And you walked away from it. So now they start, you know, throwing evil eye at you. And you didn't like their sex. Their dick was tragic. Boy, y'all is really listening to some Jasmine Sullivan now, ain't you? Mm-hmm. Air sign, Libra, Gen Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody's name may be Jennifer. Jennifer uh, has healing crystals. She's learned about sage and palo Sante and spiritual baths. And Jennifer, your ex is trying to throw negative... Their ex is trying to throw negative energy your way. But see, because you, you've... Uh, Learn how to heal yourself, how you learn how to, um, what is it, uh, heal yourself and, and take spiritual baths and all of that. That's why the been there, done that is here. And you walked away. So there, that's a, a little quick message for somebody named Jennifer. Keep on taking your spiritual bath. And if your name is Jennifer, put it in the, in the comments, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What does this person have to say? Or how does how does the collective divine feminine feel about this person? I ain't even calling them a person. They're a motherfucking clown. This person's name may start with the letter B. Your name may start with the letter B. You could have considered this person as your best friend at one time. Their name may be Billy, Bobby. They may be broke. You might have rode a bicycle together. You may have busted this person. You may have a baby with this person. This person may be broke. But they'll never change. And you know that. Mm-hmm. You know they ain't gonna never change. And you told them to stop crying over spilled milk, motherfucker, because you know you ain't gonna change. Kick the carton and move the fuck on out the way. And this person ain't never been in love, Okay. They, they were into lies, deception, they was cheating, and she just never went. Also, they're a narcissist. And this person is saying, I really don't have a reason to be mad at you, Collective. I'm mad at myself. So it says, go quickly and smoke a blunt, Collective. So we would take a, 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 a short, a short, what is it? Uh, I'm doing what Spirit said. You do it too. Go ahead, right quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and smoke that blunt. Let me turn my fan off. Let me turn my fan off. Tony, hit your shit. Because I know this, this read is, it, it, they will be, they come become triggering sometimes. Are you smoking? Put it in the comments if you hit your blunt. Good shit. <clears throat> okay. Now, this person was full of lies and deception, right? But you lied too, collective. You didn't tell them their dick was tragic. You lied to them. You made them think that they was all that. You made them think they was making made them think they was giving you orgasms and shit. You know they never made you come. <laughs> Fire sign Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in the building. Best friend. I intentionally hurt you because I'm hurt. Okay, so some of you, this person, they ain't gonna never change. They're gonna always continue to hurt you. And because they ain't gonna never change, this is why it's good that you know how to protect your energy because they're paying somebody to do spell work. 
I guess they have you fall into be the, for them. They it's like they want want to pay a practitioner to make you fall head over heels in love with them just for them to fuck over you. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Very dumb. Like that tells you that they need to be in that motherfucking tent because they're a clown. That's all they are. They they come just to fuck with you. What sense does it make to like intentionally hurt you based because because they hurt? You ain't did nothing to this motherfucker. Now I'ma tell you what I what I always would tell my Gemini's on my other channel. And they love me for it. Gemini really was was uh, uh, a set of of the zodiac sign that really connected with me on my other chain on my other page. But like I would always tell them, let them have the last word. If you tired of this person and you always arguing with this person. You're always having to defend yourself against this person. They always blaming you for some shit, whatever. This is the, the enemy, enemy, remember? Let them have the fucking last word. You know why? Let them talk shit about you. Let them talk about your mama, your kids, your family. Let them say whatever. Don't respond. Because when you let them have the last word, that's gonna psychologically fuck him later fuck her later because when you let her have the last word she's like all oh, your mama's a bitch all oh, your, your 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 sister is a hoe a slut and all this and your brother is this or that and that and this right talking shit to you or he calling you bitches and whatever that toxic ass energy and you do this like Every every other day you arguing and then this person starts an argument through argument with you. The only reason they they starting this shit with you is so they can get out and go to the circus. Because you know them karmics and them them sluts, them females, the ones that just lay down with them, the ones that they just give a nickel bag of weed to, or you know, and they suck their dick, or uh, they lay down to them, they open themselves up to them, they they. They start arguments just to be around those type of energy. Drinking and drugs, just hanging out with their homeboys who ain't got no job and they ain't doing shit. You know, or they're hanging out with their homeboy who's, who's, uh, they friends, ain't got no woman. So they, they drag them to come in and be out with them. Okay, that type of shit. So they, they'll, they'll talk shit to you and walk on out. They leave, talk bitch shit, talk about your family, talk about you under your clothes and all that shit, and go on and hang out. And then they'll come back either a couple days later or a week or so, and all trying to hug all on you and all of that shit. I miss you and I'm sorry and blah blah this. Fuck that shit. This time, hit they motherfucking ass with the switch up, like R. Kelly said. Hit them with the switch up. And how you do that. Especially if they don't live with you. Oh. They fucked up. And even if they do live with you. Or you live with them. Well I believe if you live with them. You gonna leave. Now some of you out there. You may not be able to leave. You may be stuck there. You having uh, financial problems and everything. Uh, you need to get you a. A, a emerald stone. Or a bracelet. Or a jade. <clears throat> or get you a, a pyrite. Okay. Those are the stones that bring that bring money to you and burn you a green candle. Get a candle. Um I say the, the glass candles, the candles that they come in the glass jars, the seven day candles, you can get them at the 99 cent store and get you a green one and a white one. And you, you you write some affirmations about abundance on it. You, <clears throat> you write money, come to me money, 
thank you universe for the money um affirmations for money and, and you write them and you place them up under that candle okay but you make sure you you get some um alcohol rubbing alcohol if you don't have no like florida water or some blessed oil you, you cleanse that candle <clears throat> okay and um bring bring some abundance into your life and then believe that it's gonna come and keep speaking it out to the universe that your money is coming your money is coming my money is coming come to me my money in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit is coming to me and tell the angels and your spirit guides to bring your money to you to release your money if you have any money that's being held from you reclaim your money reclaim anything that was taken from you that was stolen from you you reclaim it okay now and when you let this person have the last word let them say all the shit they want but don't let them back into your life you tired of that do you deserve somebody to be talking to you like you got a fucking tail do you do you deserve to have somebody controlling your money telling you what the fuck to do with it and then they get up and they go and do whatever the hell they want to do and you sitting at home twiddling your thumbs no the same motherfucker that got that got you sitting at home, you sitting at home worrying about what him, what he doing. What you need to do, if you can't move, if you can't leave, move out from him, focus on yourself. For one, stop having sex with him. Don't do shit for him. You become like a motherfucking roommate up in that motherfucker. You hear me? You don't even have to sleep in the same room with him unless you have to. Let him know that you don't want that shit, you ain't dealing with that shit, and you ain't standing for that shit. The same with you, fellas. The same thing with you. It's vice versa. If you're dealing with a, with a motherfucking punk ass that just walking all over you, it's time for you to stand up for yourself. And you can action. Action speaks louder than words. You can show them that you ain't a fool no more. You can let them know. You know, if you're the type, that even though you know he fucking around, you still running, trying to chase him, trying to fuck on him and all that. Stop that shit. Cause that's why he keep doing it. Let his punk ass go. You wasting your time on that person where you, you, you knocking out your your real soulmate that's trying to get to you over that dumb ass. Let his ass go. Let her ass go. Shit, you. It's like a billion people in this world. You gonna let one person have that much power over you to where you you just allowing them to walk over you like that? You better take a good look in the mirror at yourself. And whatever you look in the mirror and you see that you don't like, you improve it. Okay? Whatever you see in the mirror that you don't like, you improve it to make yourself feel better about yourself. If you don't like the way your hair is, fix it. If you need to shave your beard and shave your mustache or, or your shit needs, fix it. Ladies, if you need a new weave or you want a wig or you want to go get your hair did or dyed or something, do it. Stop focusing on what this person is doing and focus on yourself. Once you start focusing on yourself and this person see that you ain't focused on them, that's when they're going to have a towel. And you let them have the last word. You let them have the last word. Let them talk to shit, all the shit they want to. And then once they say talk shit about that you, you fix yourself up. You be better than the person that they were that you was when they met you. You be better than the person that that they was attracted to. Now you now they done just fucked up and they done put you in a in a in a ring to where you like, okay. So I gotta we gotta go there now. And you got me in this little funk mode and shit, but I have to show you I gotta take my power back and that's what the fuck you better do. You hear me? You take your power back. You don't never let nobody come in and, and put you down. You don't let nobody, even if you walk in and see a motherfucker fucking, all you got to do is just walk away. You just look over in the bed and make sure it's them. You be like, let them, let them see you. Don't fight. Don't go get no guns. Don't go get no knives or none of that. I'm going to tell you where your power is. Because if you catch them fucking somebody, and if you usually act crazy, you usually pull a gun or you do something, I don't think you you act crazy. Because they, if you was the type to pull knives and shit, I don't think they'd be that stupid, but you you never know. But if you was the type and your person think you a fight and they'll they'll bring a chick in the house just to make you mad to see how much you love them. Psych they motherfucking ass out and um 
make them feel like you don't care. And some of you really may not give a fuck. If you see them fucking somebody in the bed, you see them intimate with somebody else, all you need to do is look them right directly in their face. And the bitch they laying up with, or the nigga they laying up with. Just look them right in the face. And turn around and leave. And from that point on, you start your new life without them. Whether you live in the house with them, uh, whether this is your man or your woman, but you live separately, you start your life anew by yourself without them. And if you're not living with them, you block their ass. Block any way they can get you, any way they can call you, any way they can block you, see you on social media, block all of that shit. Block all of their friends. Don't have their friends come telling you shit you don't want to hear. When I say block, you block them. Okay, and once you block them, you get this. You get you a green adventuring. If it broke your heart, don't let them know that it broke your heart. Don't show it. Don't cry. None of that. Until you get home and cry in your pillow. But don't let that motherfucker or that bitch see you cry. Okay? I'm going to stop right there. I hope I've been some help. Put their ass in the tent. Okay? Peace out. Blessings and love.